Hi everyone, this is Yesha with IELTSmaterial.com and I am back with my reading lessons. Sentence completion questions are the most common questions in the IELTS reading test, whether it is academic or general training. If you practice these questions strategically, you can easily improve your reading score that is your overall reading score. Today in this video, I am going to give you my 7 tips to solve IELTS reading sentence completion question task and that to easily helping you to improve your overall band score. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Before moving on to learn my 7 tips, let's understand what is sentence completion task. This is an old school gap filling activity where you would have to apply the skill of scanning that is looking for specific information. The questions will be reflected in the same order of information that is in the text. You will be asked to complete the sentence by taking words directly from the text and not using your background knowledge. Now, please go through the 7 tips that I said I would be giving you to solve sentence completion task. Number 1. Take a moment to understand the question and note the number of words allowed and whether you should take your answers from a list of words or from the text. Number two, try to get an idea of what the summary or the sentences are about by skimming through them first. Number three, have a go at guessing the answers first and then think about the word formations that may be required. Number four, should you have a list of words to select from? Pay attention to words that often appear together for clues. Number five, scan through the text and use synonyms to find the area which may have the information needed. Number six, once located, read this section carefully and formulate a sentence ending. Number seven, Write a sentence ending making sure that it makes sense grammatically. Here my top tip is you must complete the sentences in a grammatically correct way or you will not get the marks. Thank you for watching it till here. If you want to learn more tips and strategies for IELTS then check out the description below and book a free demo class today. Let us continue to apply the strategies and do some practicing. There is only a small paragraph here which is talking about ancient Chinese chariots and to this paragraph we have three questions which says very clearly complete the sentences below. You have to make sure that you read the instructions very carefully which says Choose one word from the passage for each answer. You have to write only one word and you should not be writing more than one word. Otherwise, you would definitely lose your marks. Here, let me give you some understanding related to the questions given here. Question number five says, The hub is made of wood from the tree of dash. From what part of tree or let's say from which tree? type of tree. Definitely you would expect a noun here. Number 6 says the room through the hub was to put tempering axle in which is wrapped up by leather aiming to retain what? Again you would write a noun here aiming to retain an object. So what is the name of that object? Number 7 says the number of spokes varied from 18 to definitely you are going to write a number here because it clearly asks for a number between 18 to what. I have given you the explanation and now please take some time to find the answers. You can also write the answers in the comments section below. Now let's discuss the answers. Here as I said you would only be using one word. Make sure you do not write any answer more than one word. The fifth question said, the hub is made of wood from the tree of elm. So here the answer is elm. The spelling is E-L-M. 
you can find this right from the second sentence of the paragraph which says wheels were constructed from a variety of woods elm provided the hub very clearly it is written the name of the wood take the sixth one which says the room through the hub was to put tempering axle in which is wrapped up by leather aiming to retain what to retain oil it is given right after fifth one that is on the fourth line which says the hub was drilled through to form an empty space into which the tempering axle was fitted the hole being covered with leather to retain lubricating oil lubricating is an adjective and this doesn't say what to retain hence you can only write oil which is the correct answer taking the seventh one which is right after the sixth one the next line which says the answer as 32 you can find it in the seventh sentence of the paragraph a wheel by the 4th century bc usually had 18 to 32 of them if you write 32 in words taking a hyphen then too it will be considered as correct because a hyphenated word is considered to be one word i would suggest you to write it in a number because you can write this in number you can also write this in word it doesn't matter if you write in word or number beware of making any spelling errors when it comes to gap filling activity like sentence completion task or any other completion task because you have to find the words from the passage and as i said you're not going to use any of your background knowledge if you do this particular question task with the strategies explained in the video you would definitely be able to get a great band score in your ielts reading test stay with us for more ielts learning and don't forget to like share and subscribe ielts material youtube channel keep learning and stay updated with ielts material.com bye bye